Coach Mike McConaughey of the Demon basketball team getting ready to play the ULM Warhawks in Monroe on Tuesday night. Coach, we'll uh, get to them in just a moment. You had an open Saturday, Christmas festival in Natchitoches, fireworks, parades, and what'd you do? Uh, we had practice at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, you know, very productive day and then just kind of took it all in, relaxed, and um, it was really, really a nice day. We were through by 10 o'clock and uh, kind of were able to enjoy the day. So it was really nice. I know there's a lot of activities going on. A lot of people visited Natchitoches and uh, saw people out bustling around. And so it was a great day for a lot of people and it was good for us to get some rest. Okay, and I bet you practiced a little bit of defense. Yeah, the last uh, two practices prior on Friday and Saturday, we took off Thursday. We spent a great deal of time on defense. Uh, of course, played a very good Louisiana Tech team that has the ability to score, but um, we've just got to get better defensively, and we're right on the heels of playing a team that offensively is very efficient. They do a great job. Coach Keith Richard, longtime coach at Louisiana Tech, has now been at Monroe, I think, four, four or five years, does a tremendous job, great game planning coach, um, really runs their um, their offense extremely well and executes and uh, they're going to work that clock down and get exactly what they want and you've got to do a great job of, uh, of defending the best you can. They've got really good players. They've done a great job of going out and recruiting players that fit their system. One of them is jo Justin Roberson right here from uh, Natchitoches, a uh, very talented player, very athletic, very aggressive. He's having a phenomenal year for them, averaging double figures and um, you know just doing a great job. Another one of those games against a neighborhood rival, so to speak, a longtime rival uh, of Northwestern's, uh, formerly known as Northeast. These games are important for a lot of reasons, aren't they? Well, it really is because of the recruiting aspect, but also just the fact, if you know, for lack of better term, bragging rights from the standpoint of fans, that's important to them to be able to say, well, my team bested yours. And uh, just, uh, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. It's good for basketball. I know that there's those that don't necessarily agree with that uh, in different circles, but I think that it's evident when you go play these games and you're in the, in the arena and you can feel the electricity from the rivalry or you're in the stadium, you can feel electricity from the rivalry. It is very, very special. And we need to understand that, that uh, it has to be more than just about basketball. It has to be about for the people uh, that come and pay the bills. Uh, you might say. All right, your team uh, is evolving offensively in a very trending positively direction. Uh, what has made the difference for you offensively in the last three games? You know, I think that we're getting better. We're getting a feel for it. You know, it's hard to understand this, but we think we're supposed to be ready in November. And reality, if you go back and look at the history of our teams, Coach Moore went and pulled up all of our games prior to this time over the last nine years that he was there and we've always been right about where we are and we work to get better and improve. You got so many new pieces for us this year and that's creating a problem. And then on top of that, uh, we had four players out on Tuesday night. We had tomorrow we'll have three players out. Uh, you know, you don't have your whole team yet, so you're getting as good as you can with these guys and then you try to add other pieces to the puzzle later on down the road which can create some problems in itself because you get used to playing a certain way right now i really feel like that uh, marvin fraser zeke woodley and uh, jalen west are doing a phenomenal job they're competing extremely hard uh, ability to score but we've got to get some other guys in the mix that can rebound and defend and not worry about scoring but do those things to help us be an improved team from uh, Marvin's perspective, he's somewhat overlooked. Uh, Jalen leading the nation in assists, Zeke in the top five in scoring, but Marvin's having a career year. Marvin's doing a great job, and I would credit a great deal of his success to uh, Bill Lewitt and Jeff Moore uh, spending and doing extra th time with them. Today it was Jake Spielbart worked extra 20 minutes with him, and he's getting a great deal of confidence by doing that. Um, it goes to show you that you know you probably need to be doing that for four years instead of just one year because I go back to James Holb and his senior year. Coach Lewitt spent time and time and time with him, and James had a s superb senior year. So that's something that we really are excited about Marvin because he gives you a guy with good touch, passing ability, stretch the three-point line, and also can score inside, and that's a good mix. All right, this is a special time of the year because final exams are around the corner. Uh, the schedule slows down a little bit. Your program has a great history academically. 
Uh, what do you tell your players and what kind of advice as a career educator do you have for students at this time of the year? Uh, you got to really lock in and understand that, you know, if you've done your work early, it's a lot easier to be successful. If you hadn't done your work early, you're, you're scrambling right now and then we stay on top of them academically. And that's not to say that everybody's do, did their work early by any means, but at least it gives us a benchmark, a, uh, a starting point to see success and hopefully we will. Okay, we'll look forward to it. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you. Well, with sophomore guard Zeke Woodley, who is one of the top five scorers in the nation as the Demons get ready to take on the ULM Warhawks Tuesday night in Monroe. Zeke, let's talk about the team first. Uh, you guys really have played better in the last three games. Uh, is there a sense of confidence that we're beginning to get where we want to get? Yeah. Um Coach just try to push us every day and like try to make us get better and get us to win and do well. We good on offense, but like our defense, he trying to make us you know play more physical and box out and rebound and stuff like that. Turn, make turnovers. The team Cause rebounded turnovers. so much better against Louisiana Tech, uh, but defensively clearly gave up 99 points. Um, is it is it something like last year where the team struggled for quite a while defensively then? then found itself mid-January. Do you think the team can find itself, I'm sorry, defensively quicker this year? Yeah, I think we're quicker because um, like during conditioning, all we did was run. Like every day we ran. And last year, like we didn't run as much as we did this year. And we have more athletic people like Tejan. We have more athletic people. And um, this year, coach focused on rebounding. We do rebounding drills every day. From a team offensive perspective, you guys have a lot of firepower and obviously are beginning to find uh, your shooting touch. Uh, what makes you guys work offensively? Well, everybody on the team, like, well, everybody on the team can score. And Jalen, he's, you know, he's Jalen, and he would just want me to, you know, do anything for um, for our team to win. Like he talked to me before every game and tried to encourage me to do anything to win. Obviously, your game has been very good so far this year. Talk about how you've improved and uh, what's made you such an explosive scorer. Um, this well, last year I was kind of nervous as a freshman, but coming in last summer, I just worked out every day and ran every night and worked on my shooting and my defense and running on getting faster. Okay, let's talk about ULM, a team that has certainly shown that it is very capable this year, a, a team that uh, beat us last year in overtime here in Prather Coliseum. What kind of challenges does ULM present? I think they have a lot of firepower. That they have centers that shoot threes. We're just going to have to play defense. Okay, and, and is there uh, is there an expectation that defensively we can make that step and and Tuesday night in Monroe, find our defensive game as we seem to have found our offensive game the last two or three games. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that we're gonna, I think we're gonna win because I don't, I don't like, I don't like losing, and I just want to win because we ain't beat a D1 school yet, and tomorrow we should and get the streak. We'll keep the streak going. Okay, now talk about uh, playing these games against. ULM, Louisiana Tech, uh, we got Louisiana Lafayette coming up. Uh, it's got to be exciting to play the neighborhood schools, if you will. Yeah, because, yeah, I, I want to be all of them because they in Louisiana. You know, we want to be the um, big dogs of Louisiana. Yeah. And for you, they're neighborhood games, so uh, just like we have in Prather, a lot of folks from your family and friends can follow us uh, to those games. That's got to be fun, huh? Yeah, it's very fun. All right, your goals for tomorrow night? It's the win. <laughs> you're not looking at points, you're not no, looking at stats. No uh, Just the win. How, how does it feel being one of those top five scorers in the country? It feel good because like everybody, like on Instagram, all the social networks, they just come up to me and like give me shout outs and all that. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like, okay, I've got to get my average or it's been a bad night? I mean, I just want to win. I mean, if I don't get it, well, just the next game, just keep on playing harder. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, do you feel like your game is better this year than last? Yeah, it's very, it's it improved. Knowing lot. what to expect in college ball, yes. that sort of thing. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, any um, advice for students entering finals? I know you're a good student. Uh, any advice? Steady heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Zeke. Yes, sir.